Oh, okay, it's still recording. I was just making sure. All right, let's pull this up, make it bigger. We're like, hold on a second. I'm on slide eight. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All righty, I forgot to change it to May, but that's fine. So welcome to the Diamond and Beyond call. And the point of this call is to really just show you guys what there is beyond diamond. And obviously, like if you aren't diamond yet, that is definitely something that you want to achieve first. But once you get there, there's so much more that happens beyond diamond. So when I was just getting started in this business, I thought that diamond was something that was difficult to do. I didn't know any, any like otherwise, I didn't see anyone hitting diamond very quickly. I didn't see diamonds being recognized in the team page that I was in. There were few and far between, like, you know, when I was getting started, you don't, you didn't, I didn't hear about these people hitting diamond in three weeks or hitting diamond in a month. Like I didn't hear any of those stories. So the only story I knew was the story that I created for myself. And that was diamond was hard. It's going to take a really long time to get there. And maybe I would get there, but I don't know. I'm not 100% positive. I can. So because I had that story created in my mind, it took me eight months to get there from the time I signed up to the time I hit diamond. However, when I changed the story in my mind to, oh, like there, cause I went to a super Saturday and I saw all these diamond coaches, like they're, they made them stand up and be recognized. And like, there's a lot of diamond coaches and it, there weren't really a lot, but like for the room size I was in, there was a lot of people standing up and I was like, okay, so if all of these random people can do it, then so can I. And I changed the story in my mind to, Diamond is easy. I can do this. I'm going to do this. And just because I made that switch in my mind, from the time I made that switch to the time I achieved diamond rank was like two and a half months. So it can be done really quickly if you believe that it can. It can be something that you achieve if it is something that you believe that you can. Like if, with anything, like if you believe you can do it, you can. If you don't have any belief that you can do it, then you probably won't. Um, you won't have the discipline to do it. You won't have the drive or the motivation to get there. Um, so you really starts with changing the story in your mind. So we're going to start there. I want everyone here on this call, whether you are home or you're out at a coffee shop or whatever, I want you to say, my name is, and insert your name, uh, and I am a diamond coach. Okay? Just go do it. <laughs> out loud. <laughs> All right. My name is Sir. <laughs> I don't hear any belief behind that statement. And I'm a diamond coach. <laughs> Do you believe that you are? Absolutely. All right. I got to hear that. Um, but seriously, though, like belief in where you want to be is everything. Like, like I said, I thought it was hard. I thought it was something I would never do. And then when I changed my mindset and I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm a diamond coach. I'm going to make it happen. I did. Um, and when you do achieve diamond, you know, it's going to create credibility in your business. Other people are going to look towards you as someone to aspire to be like other coaches that are coming into our team are going to see you achieve diamond. And they're going to, you're going to create that story for the new coaches coming in you're going to show them that diamond is something that is achievable. You're going to show them that diamond is something that can be done because when they see coaches hitting diamond in our team page, like all the time like that, they're going to come in and say, I'm going to come into this team and I'm going to be the next diamond coach. Cause they're, that's what they're seeing. You know, coaches that come into a team page where the coaches in that team are hitting really, really high success club numbers. They, that's normal to them. Like, they're seeing 50, 60 success club points. That's normal to them because that's what they've seen. So they do that. If, and if a coach comes into a team page and they see coaches hitting diamond, coaches hitting emerald right away, coaches hitting success club 10 and above, they're just going to think, well, that's what I do. That's normal. That's success. So when you, by you hitting diamond, it's not just for you. It's for the momentum of your team that you're creating. It's for the momentum of our entire organization because you are going to be that person that new coaches look towards and say, okay, if she could do it, I can do it. And then that mentality is going to rub off on their coaches because they're going to see their coach hit diamond and then they're going to want to do it. And that's how we're going to create explosive growth within the entire organization. But it starts with everyone believing that they can move themselves from where they are to where they want to be and doing it 
and showing the other coaches that are going to be coming in. Cause obviously when you achieve these ranks, you're growing your team. You want those coaches that are coming in to, to see that as their normal, to see coaches hitting diamond all the time, to see coaches rank advancing and hitting high team cycle bonuses and hitting high success club numbers as their normal, because then that's what they're going to do. If a coach comes into a team where all they see is success club six, everyone has six, all they'll think that they do is, okay, I'll help three people and that's all I have to do. But if you look at the company as a whole, we know that there are, there are teams that are hitting really, really high success club numbers. There are teams that are popping lots of diamonds. But we know that because we know that. But a new coach coming in doesn't know anything except for what they're seeing in our team page. So we have to create that for them. And by everyone doing their part in doing that, new coaches coming in, are, they're going to just have that. Like they're just going to do it because they're going to see other people doing it. So you're proving to your followers that are following you on social media, the people who are, you know, a part of your, your Instagram following, who are commenting and liking and showing up on your feed, you're showing them that you're successful in this business. You're someone worth, you know, joining or someone that they can trust to help them get to where they want to be. And you're also showing your, your future team, like you're setting the tone for what your future team is going to be like, because you are going to show them what's possible. It's creating proof of yourself as a leader. And I don't want anyone to not hit diamond because you're afraid to be a leader. Because if you're on this call and you're watching this call and you're building a business, you're a leader from the beginning. Like you're, you're a leader the minute you decide to be a leader. You're not a leader just because you hit diamond. You're not a leader just because you hit, you know, you're elite. That doesn't make you a leader. You're a leader the minute and the moment you choose to be a leader. The minute you choose to show up for your team. You choose to do the things that maybe you don't want to do on the days you don't want to do them. You know, you do leadership development. You read books about leadership. You focus on perfecting your leadership skills. And obviously no one's ever going to be perfect, but you work on the things that need work and you identify the things that you're strong at and you do those things and things that, you know, you struggle with, you work on fixing those things. Like it's, it's not something that, you know, you hit diamond and all of a sudden you're going to be this leader. Obviously, you know, there are diamonds in this, this company who are not leaders. There are five-star diamonds in this company who are not leaders. You know, there are emeralds in this company who are leaders. There are coaches in this company who are coach rank, who are leaders, like, cause they decide they are a leader. So when you, the moment you decide to be a leader, is the moment that you will be and your coaches are going to look towards you as a role model they're going to look towards you as inspiration they're going to look towards you to see what's possible and that's what i believe that everyone on this team really has to remember like it's not just a something you're doing for yourself you know you want to paint that vision for your future team and everyone within our team right now like we're painting a vision for each other we're showing up every day for each other. We're sharing what's happening in our lives for each other and also that new blood that's going to come into our team because we want them to see that. So you hitting diamond is so much bigger than just your you hitting that goal. You hitting that goal has a ripple effect for this entire organization. Okay, so how does it affect you specifically when you hit diamond? Obviously, your pay increases. Now, I want to kind of preface saying like you don't just automatically make more money because you're a diamond you do however give yourself permission to earn more money with your team cycles so as an emerald you know you cycle at $14 as a diamond you're going to cycle at $18 so yeah it's four dollars it doesn't seem like a big deal but when you break it down it really makes a huge difference so if you look at the emerald right here it says the weak leg let's say your weak legs at four thousand and your strong legs at eight thousand a coach an emerald coach with that amount of volume on their legs would cycle um five hundred and sixty dollars okay however since that coach is only emeralds and i don't want to say only emerald but since that coach is an emerald coach emeralds are only allowed per beach body rules to earn $250 per week for team cycle bonus. So even though this coach cycled enough to earn 560, they're only going to get $250. So that's like over 200 and 
30, no, 270 bucks you're just like throwing away, I think. I'm not good at math, but I think. Yeah, I don't know, whatever. It's a lot of money you're just throwing away. Um, so then you go down to the Ruby coach, the same amount of volume on each side. They would earn $640 because they're a Ruby coach and Ruby coaches are allowed to make, um, I believe, Max, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I, I want to say it's a thousand, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then diamond coach though. So let's say, you know, you, you probably are never going to be a Ruby coach before you're a diamond coach because I mean, you might, there are Ruby coaches on this team, but a Ruby coach is just essentially a diamond coach who just doesn't have enough active coaches on each leg. So they have their two emeralds, which is typically the thing that's holding someone back from being a diamond, getting those two emeralds. But if you look at the diamond with the same amount of volume as that emerald coach, cycling the, that volume out, that diamond coach is going to earn $720. Same amount of cycles as the emeralds, but each cycle is $18 instead of $14, and they're getting all of it. They're not getting any of that taken away because of their rank or because they're not a certain rank. Like diamond, you're allowed to keep all of that money. Um, so that's one important reason why you want to get to diamond, especially if your volume is growing. If you have a lot of volume, you're basically pissing away a lot of money every week, let's be honest. Like you're just saying goodbye to money that could be yours because your rank is limiting the amount of money you're able to earn. Um, also, there's a cap out as how many times you're able to cycle. So if you cycle, like, I don't know the exact number, but once you hit that number of cycles, you can no longer earn cycle bonus until you rank advance. So you don't ever want to get caught in that trap where like you're cycling and you're not getting anything for it because of your rank. So don't, don't get stuck there. Um, what's happening here? It's not letting me change this slide. Okay. So some other things I wanted to talk about as far as diamond and beyond, there are lots of incentives and perks and things that coaches who are star diamond and above do get to take advantage of that coaches who are not do not until they get there. So that doesn't mean that you're never going to have these things. You have to grow into these things. You have to earn these things. But you know how like when you hit Emerald, you hit Ruby, you got like a one of those like live strong kind of bracelets that said the rank of you of your like emerald rank and then you got a little certificate that had the little swooshy thing on it um when you hit diamond you still get the certificate but you also get a cute t-shirt that says diamond coach like down the side unless they've changed the design but that's what mine said like several years ago um and when you rank advanced to one star two star three star and four star you get really nice like racerback tanks that are really soft material they're kind of like more of like a Lululemon kind of like athletic wear type of shirt. And then when you hit five star and above, you get jackets that are really nice athletic jackets with, and the zippers are all different colors. So it'll like each star diamond is a different color. Um, plus you're going to get something from your coach too, whatever that may be, but sweat free, free swag is pretty neat, you know, and then you get to walk around and like start yourself. And it'll have your rank on your, your jacket. You can go to summit, you get to wear this jacket. You go to, you know, the grocery store, or you go to the Publix, you get to wear your jacket around and be like, hey, hey, like I'm a, I'm a five-star coach. Like it just feels really cool to get to wear your success on, on your body. Um, another really important thing is early registration. So those of you who are going to Summit this year who maybe didn't get the workout that you wanted, maybe <laughs> if you were Star Diamond, Elite, Success Club, Legend, All-Star, you would have because you get to register early and you don't have to get whatever's left at the end of the day. You don't have to get the last pick. You don't have to work out with the trainer you don't want to work out with. You don't have to worry about, you know, not getting into the events you want to get into because you get to register first. I got to register for Summit like weeks ago. I picked my workout, stress-free, selected it, signed up, and I was done. Same goes for Success Club, like, trips. Early registration, you get to pick your room first. You get the first pick of the, of the litter. You know, you don't have to worry about sitting on a wait list and having to get pulled off and maybe going on the trip. You get to go um, as long as you hit Success Club. But if you're at that level, you should be. 
Um, the other thing that's really neat is New Leader Conference. This is a special leadership event for first time one star diamonds and above. And this is something where it's a smaller intimate setting and you get to go and listen to, um, they have keynote speakers. It's kind of like a mini summit, basically. The top coaches and everyone are kind of talking. There's um, keynote speakers, there's workshops, there's like a lot of really fun things that go on there. But you're going to learn so much, and that's going to help you level up your business being there because it's like a miniature summit for a couple hundred people versus 25,000 people. So it's a more intimate kind of setting. You get a lot out of it. And anyone on this call right now could totally go to New Leader Conference this year. You just have to be one star. Well, everyone on this call can do that this year, 100%. Not Like I see who's on this call, 100% without a doubt, every single one of you can be there this year. And then quarterly bonuses, these kick in when you achieve two star, five star, 10 star, and 15 star. You have to meet quarterly qualifications though to receive these bonuses. However, they range from $800 to $40,000. So yeah, um, you probably would benefit from having something like that every quarter. Um, and also keep in mind, like when you open a second business center, if you get that, to two star and you're a two star, you get the bonus twice. So think about those coaches who are superstar diamond in multiple business centers, you know, they're making $40,000 per business center per quarter. That like, that's what's possible. Like that's the vision for this business. Like there's so much that you can have that like, it seems so crazy and out there, but you can. So how do you get there? How do you be a diamond coach? You know, obviously you have to be active. You need to have 100 PV as a diamond coach. It's not 90 PV, 90 PV HD still, but you need to have at least 10 PV from a customer, um, which you should have as a diamond coach. If you get two products, let's say you get Shakeology and like Energize or whatever, um, then that would cover that. That'd be more than 90, but 90 of it has to be HD. And then the other 10, like I've never seen anyone drop diamond because they were missing 10 PV. So I don't think that ever is an issue. If you're a diamond coach, you definitely have enough residual to have that. But I just want to mention that. Um, you need eight personally sponsored coaches, four active per leg. So if you look at the diagram over here, you've got one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. They must be sponsored by you. They cannot be sponsored by your coach because sometimes you'll see those in your downline, but they're not your coaches so they don't count towards your rank. Um, and they can be working coaches, which we would prefer, um, or they can be discount coaches. Either way, you just need a body, like a human being um, there to fill that spot. And then you need two Emerald coaches. So you need one per leg. I like to say you wanna get at least two per leg because you don't wanna be in a situation where one of your Emerald coaches drops and then you're not Diamond anymore because you worked your ass off to get to Diamond and you don't ever want to lose it. I personally have never, ever, ever dropped from diamond rank ever. Like I hit diamond and then I just kept growing from there. I've never dropped out of diamond rank ever in five years of being a coach because I feel like if I'm going to work this hard to get here, I'm going to continue to grow. And I didn't have that mentality of like, I'm here. <laughs> I'm going to just slow my roll. Like, I was there and I was continuing to grow and I was continuing to create emeralds and I was continuing to add because that's how you want to build a solid business. You want to be a solid diamond. You don't want to be a shaky diamond. So if you want to be more solid, look at this diagram and add two more active coaches per leg and add two emeralds per leg, like double everything you see, because that's going to create a solid stable diamond versus a shaky every other week diamond not diamond diamond not diamond um because that that's important too because if you think about it you know let's say you're cycling enough to be to be making like 500 bucks as a diamond but that week you're an emerald so you're only getting 250 and then the following week you know maybe you're a diamond again but then the following week you're an emerald so you're like you're losing cycles and you're losing money when you're when you're flip-flopping back and forth um Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is opening a second business center. Now, obviously, this comes after Diamond, but it is important because I believe that everything starts 
happening in your business once you hit two star. Like that's where the magic happens. For me personally, that's when my income doubled. That's when I was having the most success, like instantaneous success because I could get my second business center to diamond. So I could go from two star to three star overnight. And this is something that you basically get to clone yourself. You know how we always say, oh, I wish I could clone myself and just sign up under myself. And cause I, I know I'm going to do the work and I can depend on myself. Well, you can, when you hit two star, you get to go in, you know, you sign up again. It, it's strange. Cause when you go in your downline, you see your name again but you get to sign up on yourself. And then depending on your volume, obviously before you sign up a second CBC, I encourage you, highly encourage you to reach out to your upline um, and ask them to take a look at your downline and help you decide where it would make the most sense to place your second business center um, because there are strategic ways to place it. Um, for example, here, let's say, let's say that this is my husband here. He's one of my diamonds. This is where my second business center is on his inside leg um, because he's getting volume from here. And then now I've opened up the opportunity to grow the volume here. And that's how he gets more cycles that way. But when that time comes, it may be different. Maybe it may be a different situation for you. That's why it's important to, you know, reach out to your coach and they'll be able to figure that out. But you do need to have, which is also important as a two-star diamond coach, you need to have 10 active coaches, not just eight. Or actually, no, 12, just kidding. One star is 10, two star is 12. Um, so that's why it's important to continue to add because you don't wanna just hit diamond and then stop and have your eight. And then let's say you pop a diamond well, guess what? You're not going to be one star qualifying until you get two more active coaches. And you don't want to be in that boat. You want to, when you pop a diamond, you want to go into one star call immediately. You don't want to have to go and like sign up some more coaches so that you can enter your qualification period. Um, but opening a second CBC is huge. It's something that every single person on this call should strive to do. Um, it's definitely something that every single person on this call can do this year. 100% this can happen for every single one of you this year. Um, and I'm saying this from experience because in 2015, I started the year as an Emerald coach and I ended the year as a three-star premier coach. So I know that a lot of work can happen in a short amount of time if you're focused and you really want it and you show up and you work hard every day. Um, but opening a second CBC, if, if financial freedom is one of your goals, which I don't know why, you know, people wouldn't want to be financially free, but if that's something that you're working on, um, opening a second CBC is just going to help you do that much faster for sure. Um, because another thing about it is let's say you want to order other products or let's say, um, you, when you're signing up customers you're gonna run them all through your second CBC. So every single customer that I sign up, I sign them up in my second CBC so that I get the volume in this account, I get the volume in my husband's account, and then I also get the volume a third time in my, my first business center. So you know, you get the commission here, you get the volume here, you get the volume here. So it really allows you to kind of triple the amount you're getting from each customer. Um, that signs up as well. So just keep that in mind. All the success club points roll up to your first. So it's not split. Um, anything that anyone you sign up in any CBC counts towards your success club points. So it's not like you have to hit success club in your first and your second. It, it's all, all the same when you get there. So that brings me to the end. And I want you guys to really think about where do you want to see yourself one month from now on June 6th. So what's today? Ninth, <laughs> sorry. On June 9th, where do you want to be in your business? Where do you want to be? What rank do you want to be? How many coaches do you want to have on your team? What is the vision that you want to have for the team that you're building one month from now? How do you want to feel? How do you want to, you know, wake up every morning and what do you want to be doing like one month from now? Right? Think about that. Just for a second. 
And then think about three months from now, August. So if you have a goal to be two star, where should you be by August? You know, if you're looking like end of the year, by August, three months from now, if you have a goal to be two star by the end of the year, you should be at least one star by August, you know, month wise. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen that way. It, it might not, you might hit two star at the end of the year. You might have both diamonds pop at the same time. But if we're looking at it, like as a planning perspective, okay, if I need to have two by the end of the year, halfway to the end of the year is August, I should have at least one, right? So kind of start getting into that mindset. If look at your end goal and then backtrack, you know, all right, three months out, two months out, one month out, where do I need to be? Six months from now will be the end of the year, right? It's almost halfway through the year, half full, half empty, however you want to look at it. Where do you want to be at the end of the year? What rank do you want to be? How much income do you want to be earning? What do you want your team to look like? How many like working coaches do you want to have? How do you want to feel? How do you want to look? How do you want to lead? Six months from now, end of the year, right? And now a year from now, so next May. Where do you want to be? Where do you want your team to be? How do you want to be running your business? Who do you want to be working with? How do you want to be recognized? How do you want to feel a year from now? Do you want to look back and say, I could have done a little more? Or do you want to look back and say, I may not be where I want to be, but I gave it my all and I did everything I possibly could do. And this is where I'm at right now. And I'm okay with that. It's a lot better to be able to say that, like at the end of the year in December, last day of the month, it's easier to say, it feels better to say, you know, I did everything I could possibly do. I gave it my all every single day. It feels a lot better to be able to say that and miss your goal than it is to say, I could have did a little more and that's why I missed my goal. And chances are, if you're giving it your all and you're doing everything you possibly can do and you're giving your best every single day, you're not gonna miss your goal. You're gonna hit it. So as we, kind of approach the second half of this year. Um, just keep that in mind at the end of the day. Did I give it my all? Did I do everything I possibly could do today to move my business forward to get to where I want to be? And you will. I think that's it. So I don't know if anyone has any questions, but stop sharing. It was a short little call, but. Um, yeah, that was really good. Oh, I really gosh. liked that a lot. That oh, was yeah. definitely just like straightforward and um, really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wish more people were on it. Hopefully they watch the recording. Yeah. Well, you can go post it on the team page and tell them too. Maybe they will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Read the chat. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. So I'm going to stop the recording for a second.